Barakatai Yahawa, Barakatai Yahweh Shai, Barakatai Yahawa, Barakatai Yahweh Shai, Bashem Kodash Raka, double honor to the apostles, the elders, salutations to you sincere brothers, teaching in truth and in sincerity. This lesson is going to be entitled Characteristics of Esau. All right, my source is buckbreeders.com. This article is entitled 100 Year Old Woman is Still Dropping Deer, dated for 1 8 2018. Like any good southern hostess, Bertha Bickers of Morgantown, Mississippi, greets her guests with a pot of coffee and home baked cake. She offers me a seat at the heart of most homes, the kitchen table. As we sit and I, as we sit and talk, I can't help but think how strange our conversation is becoming. After all, it's not every day I talk with women about browning shotguns, deer hunting, and wading in rivers while fishing. It's also the first time I've had the, that conversation with a woman who will celebrate her 100th birthday in a few days and harvest her most recent deer only a couple of weeks ago. And these are characteristics of Esau, being able to be a skillful hunter. Back into the article, it's just over here across the creek, about three or four miles, Vicar said, one of my neighbors invited me to come sit in a shooting house. I got to watch birds and squirrels until nearly dark. The first evening, the deer came out, and I was getting the crosshairs on the deer and his dog barked. He let out a howl, and the deer took off. But Vickers was in the stand the following afternoon. The next evening, evening, two came out, Vickers said. They were getting close to where I wanted to shoot. I was sort of shaking until I got ready to shoot. I didn't think it was all going to go right. Fortunately, everything did go right. Vickers touched off her 243 Winchester rifle and her shot was perfect. It was also a shot that was heard around Facebook. A photo was posted of her with the doe and messages of congratulations to the centenarian poured in. 
Although she has little knowledge of computers and social media, family members showed her the reactions of Facebook. On Facebook, they were reactions that only a woman like Vickers would not be able to understand. Let's get into the scriptures. This is Genesis 25 and 25. And the first came out red, all over like in hairy garment. And they called his name Esau. Okay? So, a characteristic of Esau is being red. And he was compared to a hairy garment. Alright? And the reason why he was red because he lacked pigmentation. The blood show through their skin. Okay? Genesis 25 and 26. And after that came his brother out. And his hand took hold on Esau's heel. And his name was called Jacob. And Isaac were, was three score years old when she bare them. And the boys grew. And Esau was a cunning hunter. A man of the field. And Jacob was a plain man dwelling in tents. Okay. Now, when you go into... The Hebrew for this term, cunning, it means that Esau was skillful, okay? He had skill. And although this is a female, these damn Edomites would sit in a shooting house for hours in order, you know, to, to shoot a deer, shoot turkey, or any game they're um, trying to kill, okay? And there's no difference with this situation right here. You know, and this Edomite is like seven years old. It's a female, okay? And she's basically shooting deer, okay? I don't know the distance um, this was, but she nailed the shot. And her father is grooming her to be a marksman. You know, that's going into the talent they have to be a cunning hunter, all right? Genesis 4 and 22. And Zila, she also bare Tubal Cain, an instructor of every artificer, and brass and iron, and the sister of Tubal Cain was Nahama. Now the point is Tubal Cain. When you break this term down, it means a traveling weapon. That's where you get your uh, mercenaries from. Okay, such as like, you know, uh, soldiers that are hired to do the bidding of, of the government or Navy SEALs, your, your, your Green Berets. That's why this man is able to go into another country with maybe two to five of them and just create havoc. Okay, because their lineage goes back to them having that characteristic to be a cunning hunter traveling weapons as well man genesis 27 and 38 and esau said unto his father has thou but one blessing my father bless me even me also O my father and esau lifted up his voice and wept. and isaac his father answered and said unto him behold thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth and of the dew of heaven from above this is the reason why the, these Edomites live in these luxurious neighborhoods, man. And then also that goes into how they're able to get the resources from these other countries, too. And what does that do? Basically, that continues to assist them to be on top. All right. Verse 40. And by the sword shall I live and shall serve thy brother. And it shall come and pass when thou when thou shalt have the dominion, that thou shalt break his yoke from off thy neck. But this is the point. By the sword shall I live. And look how young these Edomites are. Being grown to be great marksmen. Okay. Going into the prophecy of Esau being that cunning hunter. Okay. And look how old this damn Edomite is. A hundred years old. Still taking perfect shots to kill game man you can't get around that you know the, the scriptures are true the scriptures are real the scriptures are holy okay last precept revelation 6 and 4 and there went out another horse that was red okay now this red what is that the characteristic of esau
and power was given to him that set their own to take peace from the earth and that's what this so-called white man is doing he's taking peace from the entire earth it's for prophecy sake Yahweh deemed it so and that they should kill one another and there was given unto him a great sword all right and that's going into his military warfare okay you cannot take this white man down for you want to be Zillox, okay? The spirit has to be given to you by Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, all right? Because this man has his time to rule. And right now, we are in the end of his rulership. But at the same time, frame prophecies has to be fulfilled before this white man goes down. This man's blessing is the sword. You're not going to be able to utilize the sword and take Esau down. You know, if you're an Israelite beginning with your lick, your gift, which is going into our gift, will be spiritual power. With that, hope you've been edified. Shalom.